Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about the new deal made by the IATSC, Deadpool 3 getting delayed, and a supposed leak for Spider-Man 2. Now let's get started. This might not be the most interesting piece of news to start on today, but it's definitely the most important. Deadline just reported that the IATSC and the AMPTP have reached an agreement on a new film and TV contract, averting a threatened nationwide strike which would have shut down production on Secret Invasion, The Mandalorian Season 3, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, and many more movies and shows worldwide. The new three-year contract which must now be ratified by the union's members comes just hours before the deadline at midnight on Sunday. Imposed by IATSC President Matthew Loeb, the union and the Carol Lombardi-led AMPTP are expected to make the agreement public very shortly. More details are to come, but deal points include improved wages and working conditions for streaming, 10-hour turnaround times between shifts, MLK Day is now a holiday, diversity, equality, and inclusion initiatives, increased funding of the health and pension plans, and a 3% rate increase every year for the duration of the yet-to-be-approved contract, among other changes. Next, Ryan Reynolds announced that he's taking a little sabbatical from movie making, meaning that Deadpool 3 may be delayed. The good thing though is that the movie didn't start filming until next year, so unless he's gone for longer than that, it probably won't be pushed back. And if it is, it hopefully won't be by too long. And lastly, take this with a grain of salt as it's unconfirmed, but an Insomnia Games employee spilled some of the details on the new Spider-Man 2 game. Using a throwaway account, the developer who allegedly works on the traversal team for Spider-Man 2 answered some questions from eager fans. The game will reportedly allow players to choose to play missions as either Peter Parker or Miles Morales each one having unique skills and abilities. Whoever the player doesn't choose will be controlled by an AI and provide support during the quest. Peter's web trick system has been improved to play more like Miles in Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, while the web crawling system has been revamped, allowing for smoother transitions between actions without hindering the player's pace. The speed cap for the game has been greatly improved as well, meaning players can now web swing 1.7 to 1.8 times faster than the original Spider-Man PlayStation 4 game and this is largely due to the PlayStation 5's SSD technology, allowing Insomnia games to render the levels quicker. The poster also mentions that webs can now be reeled in, acting as a kind of grappling hook to help clear certain objects when moving around New York City. As for Venom in the symbiotic suit, the supposed employee offered up some details on how they'll feature. Peter will reportedly gain the iconic black suit in the first part of the game, using the symbiote's tendrils as four extra arms in combat. Rather than being an alien, Marvel Spider-Man 2 is pulling from the Ultimate Spider-Man comic books where Venom was created by Oscorp something which is referenced in a post credit scene in the first game. Following an unspecified story event, Peter separates himself from the suit, which takes a new host and becomes Venom. To combat this new villain, Peter develops the four robotic arms seen in the game's reveal trailer. The post goes on to say that Kraven the Hunter will serve as the game's main antagonist, as Peter and Miles fight against his army of mercenaries. The poster also says that while they're unsure of secondary villains, both Lizard and Mysterio will appear in the game. As for heroes, no other Marvel heroes will be included in the story, but the amount of easter eggs alluding to a larger universe has significantly increased. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Are you glad that no upcoming movies or shows will have to stop production? Do you think Deadpool 3 will get delayed? And how excited are you for Spider-Man 2? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.